to introduce myself, I'm the chairman of the University of Chester Business Advisory Council. Uh, the BAC exists to promote understanding and cooperation between the university and the business community here in Chester. To that end, I organised a series of meetings last year to try and gauge the feelings of businesses and business people in the city. It wasn't particularly scientific. I can't claim that any publishable research came from these meetings. However, what did emerge was a community of business people who are disillusioned with the way the city has been promoting itself, the way new business is being attracted to the city, and the way the local authority was communicating and consulting with local business. As I say, this wasn't scientific. It was very much a piece of qualitative research rather than quantitative research. And it reflected a general feeling of growing unrest. So, why did we call this event a black and white future? Now, obviously, we all live in a city where black and white buildings predominate. But the future uh, is anything but certain. It's certainly not black and white. The last few years have seen massive upheavals in the global political world. And this week, as I think Chris Matheson will agree, there's seen a little bit of turbulence in the UK political environment. Here in Chester, we can have only a limited influence on events at an international or even national level. However, all of us in this room can have a huge influence on events at a local level. The aim of this morning is to ensure a very positive, non-political discussion about Chester, where we currently stand, where we'd like to be, and how we get there. So, if you thought that coming here was an opportunity to bash the local authority, moan about empty shops, or rehash the argument of three after three, then I'm afraid you're in the wrong place. Having said that, empty shops, the lack of affordable parking, and the difficulties associated with running a business in Chester are all valid tops, topics for a lively and frank discussion. But I stress, we are all about positive discussion with positive outcomes. This morning is about the people of Chester, all of the people of Chester. The time is definitely right for us to talk about what's good, what's bad, and what we need to do collectively to make the city a better place to live, work, and socialize. Before I introduce the first speaker, I have a couple of thank yous. The meetings last year were sponsored by local businesses. Their sponsorship made this event possible. So I'd like to thank Hillier McEwen, Mitchell Charlesworth, PRN Telecom, and Ellison Co. I'd also like to thank Andrew Bentley from Storyhouse for making this space available to us, Carla Fellows at Invaluable PA, and Caroline Swales at Clarity 360 Marketing. Special thanks also to Claire Schofield, the former Dean of the Business School, and Chris Jones, the current Dean. So, a quick look at the Quack website tells us this. We spend over £700 million per year providing services to local residents. In 2018-19, almost £172 million pounds of this will be funded through council tax paid by residents of the borough. A further £56 million will be funded through business rates paid by companies. Elements of the council tax you pay will also fund services provided by the Cheshire Fire Authority, the Police and Crime Commissioner for Cheshire, and local parish and town councils. Our priorities will support our residents, communities, and economy to thrive. Now, to tell us a little bit more about where that 700 million gets spent and what we can look forward to in the future, I'm very pleased to introduce the Chief Executive of Chester West and Chester, Mr. Andrew Lewis. Mm -hmm. 